Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Today I got a special video. My brother actually sent me something in the mail, a vintage, something that he said would be special to me. It's a vintage item, has to do with Star Wars. He said it'd be very special for me personally. Didn't tell me what it is. So let's go open it up and see what my brother sent me, shall we? All right, you guys. As I was saying, this is from my brother. I have no idea what's in it. Um, he uh, does watch the channel. We do talk a lot. And, um, you know, he knows I do all these unboxing, these unboxing videos. And he decided to send me something. And he wouldn't tell me what it is. So I have no idea what's inside. Um, he just told me it was something vintage and expressly asked that I open it up on, on the channel. So I was like, okay, so we, we shall see. Um, my brother also is an avid Star Wars fan and collector. Um, he's a little older than me, so, uh, you know, he, he's got his own collection and, and you know, um, he's got his own thoughts on, on, the on the trilogy as a whole and everything we pretty much see eye to eye on pretty much everything when it comes to Star Wars and collecting in general. Um, so anyway, this is just something that, like I said, um, he sent to me and like I said, no idea what is inside. So let us get into this. Turn over one at a time. Okay, so my first thought is these must be photos, but I could be wrong. They are photos, all right. This could be embarrassing, guys, because this is his writing, and I believe these are photos, and I have to assume that this might be... Um, I have my ideas of what this could be, so here we go. Don't embarrass me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, so here we go, guys. This is Christmas of 2015, one of five. I wish I had a drum roll. Um, all right, well, I have no idea what this... I mean, I... <laughs> I have a feeling these are photos of me, but we'll, we'll, we shall see. We shall see. Ah, all right. All right. I was right. I was right. I know my brother too well. Um, so guys, this is, um, this is Christmas of 2015. Um, this is awesome actually. All right. So this is, uh, uh, my nephew, uh, my brother's son, and this is me opening up a box. A box for Christmas um, and you can tell by my face that I'm excited um, and of course now seeing this photo I know exactly the moment I know exactly what's in the box and maybe maybe we'll get to what's in I'm sure what the reveal will happen through these photos um, yes yes Christmas who doesn't love opening Christmas presents at, at, at any age and um, as I said my brother's older than me um, and uh, he you know, uh, full disclosure, he um, got me into, uh, you know, I was always into Star Wars um, and I collected modern um, quite a bit um, in the Hasbro, Hasbro takeover of Kenner in the mid 90s when uh, Power of the Force 2 collection came out. So I was heavily collecting into that. Loved vintage. Um, remembered playing with it when I was a kid. Remember playing with his toys specifically when I was a kid because, like I said, he is older than me. So I did get my my grubby little mitts on some of his toys. Um, so I do have a lot of memories of playing with the vintage toys. Um, but I was really uh, hadn't really taken the dive into being a collector, shall we say? Um, so this is uh, this is Christmas of 2015. So here I am presented with this giant box. I don't know what's in it, but this the stoked factor is high as you can see in that that face of mine. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> I haven't seen these photos in a long time either. So um, this is this is wild. All right, so that's photo one, guys. All right, photo two. Good God, this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, my brother loves to embarrass me. He loved, he was the older brother that, that would, he, you know, when I was little, little, little kid, baby, you know, he, he, two years old, he'd poke me, he'd do things to me as older brothers tend to do just to get me to cry, just to get me to, 
just to get a noise out of it. Just, you know, he'd prod me, you know. So um, this is him still prodding me all these years later. So this is Christmas 2015, 205. And there we are, guys. There is the reveal. That is, you guys can see, the Kenner Millennium Falcon. That's right. I, uh, I just, this is the first time I'd received uh, the Falcon um, ever. I never owned the Falcon um, as a kid. Um, and as you can see on my face, I'm just got that, oh, sh you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this. Um, this is awesome. This was this is my brother getting me into uh, you know he knew he knew how much I love Star Wars and I'd always looked at his you know his collection because he has the entire vintage collection as well and I was always checking it out and looking at it and remembering reminiscing and we talk about it a lot and he knew I loved it and so he um, he, he decided to get me the Millennium Falcon for for Christmas and. and 2015 and it is the falcon that you see uh in my collection today um that you guys have seen in my videos and whatnot um so yeah I, I do remember i remember opening this thing up and just being blown away and like how stoked i was to get to get it um ah man this this is some years ago um 2015 not that long ago but yet it seems like forever ago um but there we are guys me opening up the Kenner Millennium Falcon. Just just a beautiful, a beautiful day. A beautiful day. Oh man. Alright, alright, alright. Let's uh let's let's get into these. We got what, a couple more photos here. So three of five. There we go. There's the full reveal. <laughs> There's the full reveal. There is a younger me just being holy smokes that 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 kid like quality again coming back being eight years old again you know many of you out there um you know born in the you know maybe the late 60s early 70s you know whatever whenever you were born but you guys all remember the moment you got your your falcon or your special star wars toy that that special moment that that elation that joy and um, it doesn't matter what age, I think it transcends time. Um, when you get something that you're excited about, you're gonna be excited. And this definitely made me feel like a little kid again. I mean, um, obviously I was younger here, but uh, still a full grown adult and still got that, oh, look on my face, um, holding the Millennium Falcon, just epic, an epic moment. Um, I was shocked. I, I was was not expecting this. You know, um, I didn't know what um, my brother was getting me for Christmas. Uh, you know, and, and how? I mean, let let me let me just say this. Let, I'm a, this is to my brother. I love you, man. Like, um, I told him a few times. He, um, sorry, he's getting a little emotional, guys. Um, I love my brother, it, and Star Wars is all about family, in my opinion. And um, it just, you know, family is all that matters. These are toys, but family is really the, all that matters in life. And um, my brother, um, I love you, man. Thank you so much for, for being an awesome brother. And thank you so much for hitting home. And, and you know, sorry, guys, I can't talk. Um, it's a good thing that the camera is not on my face right now. Um, just uh thank you for for getting me this the falcon you know thank you for getting me in in down into this journey of vintage i mean it's really changed my life um i like i told you guys i used to collect modern and i uh, always loved because modern what was available you know i wasn't hunting down vintage modern i could go in the store and buy it i wasn't hunting down at the that that actual like bug truly hadn't bit me yet and my brother once again kind of poking and prodding a little bit but in the best ways possible and um this was kind of like the hitting the light speed and, and getting into and getting into vintage and, and by getting me the the falcon and it's just been an epic journey ever since and uh thank you man thank you bro um, i really appreciate everything you've done for me and um i really appreciate you uh you know, pushing me along a little bit in, into into uh, going down the journey. It's been an epic journey. I uh, 
Yeah, whew. Um, sorry guys, I'm an emotional fella, and um, Star Wars has always hit home for me. Um, it's always the stories, George Lucas, Johnny Williams, the music, everything. It's always just, that's why I love it so much, is it's always had that like visceral emotional impact. And besides all the spaceships and the woo-woo, you know, and the the fun special effects, and but it's it's been the emotional, the heart of Star Wars. That's what really um, gets me. And so these toys, and then connecting with my family through them, just just beautiful. Um, so this is four of five. There I am inspecting the Falcon. Just look at that face, guys. Yeah. Just crazy. Just crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't seen these photos in a long time, guys. I really haven't. So this is, I didn't even, I don't know. He pulled these out of somewhere. And dang, man, bro, you really, uh, yeah, yeah, you know how to hit me. Um, it's good Lord. Just, just love it, man. Just love it. So what do you guys... I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments, um, you know, did you get the Falcon for Christmas? Did you get the Falcon for your birthday? Like, you know, or was there a similar toy that you got in the mail that you were like, oh my God, or not in the mail, but rather like for a gift or maybe a relative sent it to you, mailed it to you. Um, but uh, was there ever a toy, a time where you just, your mind was blown like mine is right here? Um, just, and I'm an adult right here. I mean, I'm not eight or nine or 10, so, you know, the stoke factor is high, but I'm asking you, you guys, you viewers out there, you know, when you got a toy, like, does this bring back any memories for you as a child, like getting something that was so epic, like maybe the Falcon, or maybe you got an ad at Walker or a bunch of figures or whatever, but like that joy is always there. I think that's why you guys watch this channel is you love the joy of Star Wars. You love the joy of collecting. You guys know how gonzo I am about it. Um, the force is strong in my family, as you can see. Um, you know, it, it's it's just a part of part of my being. And these toys, just amazing, just amazing. I uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, and so the final the final photo here. Yeah. Look, and then look at this. This is a better photo of the Falcon, but look at my face. It's kind of like this like quizzical, baffled look on my face. Like, just I'm still in shock. I think here, like this was a, this was a, you know, the the excitement photo of oh god, what am I opening? You know, this is the excitement photo. This is the. Uh, are you kidding me? This is the like it's setting and I mean he's snapping these photos off. So this is like. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Whoa, you know, and then just like the admiration of looking at this thing. And then I think this photo is literally like the seriousness, like I've gone down this journey. It has begun. You know, I've got the Millennium Falcon now, like just amazing. Um, and, and I'll be honest, this, this, this Falcon wasn't complete. I had to, I had to piece it together. This was, you know, it had uh, the str struts, the, you know, the landing gears, not the struts, the struts I had to track down, um, but it did have the landing gears, it had the, you know, the outer shell, the cockpit was all there, but I had to get like the radar dish and, you know, uh, just uh, the, the training ball, I had to get all the pieces. So this wasn't like a, here you go, bro, here's the entire Falcon. Um, I, so that's essentially what, um, you know, kind of spawned the journey to, to collect is, you know, getting this Falcon and I got some other things along the way. Um, but I, this was a true, hunt it down. So I, I became a collector on this day. You know, I really became a true vintage collector on this day. Um, had, have had a couple pieces in my collection prior to this. Like I had a job of the hut and I had some couple figures, but I think getting the Falcon and, uh, was just like, okay, now it's official. You have the millennium Falcon and I can't leave it incomplete. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to, you, you can't, you got a completer. And I, I, I eventually did sometime later and I tracked these pieces down and it was a lot of fun. It's taught me a lot about collecting in general. Um, I respect the hobby. I love Kenner. Kenner's given me and you all so much. And, um, Mark, uh, Bordeaux, Bordeaux, I believe is less, I hope I'm not pronouncing his name wrong, 
the gentleman that designed the Falcon. Um, he personally has designed all the Falcons for the line, and I hope he's doing well. Last I um, knew his health wasn't so great. I hope Mark is doing okay. Mark, thank you so much, brother. You have you have given us all very, all very so much. Um, just your contributions to the counter line and to Star Wars as a whole is can't be measured. And um, like I said, the joy that we all have gotten from playing with these toys it, it knows no bounds. Um, so thank you, Mark. And then and thank you, Kenner. I mean, just the, all the designers, everyone at Kenner, you guys have, um, I hope at some point you guys will see this video or any of my videos. And just this, this channel is out of, born out of an appreciation for the Kenner Star Wars line. I love vintage Star Wars toys. I love how it makes me feel as a kid and even, you know, more so now I can appreciate it fully as an adult. Um, and just... Just to be able to have these toys, uh, have them in my collection, and um, it's just it's a it's a beautiful thing. And if you guys don't have a Millennium Falcon, I highly recommend you tracking one down. Um, get you a Millennium Falcon. You will not be disappointed whether you ever had one as a child or not. I promise you, this will be your reaction when you get it. <laughs> I promise you. Um, well, this is a trip, guys. This is a trip. My brother, like I said, he uh, he definitely knows how to um, how to how to touch the right buttons. And um, this is uh, it's it's a shame that this is not uh, uh, you know I didn't open this during Christmas time. This would have been so appropriately timed, but um, nonetheless, um, just a cool, fun thing. My Christmas memories as an adult opening Star Wars toys and. Um, I mean, I just, yeah, Christmas, family, Star Wars, goes together, guys, goes together. I'm really happy that he sent me these photos, A, so I have them, and B, it's cool to be able to share that with you guys, a little personal personal history of mine, and um, yeah, this is just a beautiful thing, a beautiful thing, um, and I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments, what do you guys think about all all of this, like I said, does it spark some memories for you? Seeing me open up my Falcon. Um, how giddy were you when you got yours or a specific toy? Let me know in the comments. And also, how close are you with your family in Star Wars? Do you guys, um, you know, do you have a relationship with Star Wars with your family, with your siblings, with maybe even your parents, um, depending on your age? Um, I know age kind of don't matter. People of all ages love Star Wars. So I'm just curious to see how strong the Force is with other families. Um, and it's a beautiful thing when you can share that. And I feel very lucky that my brother and I have this strong relationship, A, as brothers, and B, with Star Wars that we're able to connect on this level. Um, and even more so because we think and feel the same ways about it. It's a beautiful thing. And um, guys, I just wanted to share this with you. Thanks to my brother for uh, making this happen. Give me some, uh, hit me in the feels, hit me in the feels and uh, getting to share this with you guys completely unexpected. So thank you to my brother and thank you everyone out there watching this video. I hope, um, I just I hope this has been a fun fun little moment for you guys to uh, to check out. Thank you so much, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this emotional trip down memory lane. I know I certainly did. Didn't want to get too emotional, but couldn't help it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sincerely, hope it uh, brought a smile to your face. And if you did enjoy this video, please give the old like button a thumbs up to support the channel. And if you've not already done so, blast that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.